has kind of gone back to a feudal time um, where the area that we're in, the Badlands, is run by several barons, and each baron controls has a controls land and power, but also controls an industry. One maybe controls oil, one controls opium, one controls this and that. And in order to maintain that power, they have to keep an army of soldiers, which are called clippers. Um, and I play one of the head clippers under the, the most powerful barons in the region, um, named Sonny, and he's a regent. He's the head clipper of the group. He meets a young boy named MK, played by Aramis Knight here, and realizes that his whole life that he's been trained to be as a killer is maybe not necessarily the path he's meant to take, and then sets off their journey of looking for what's beyond the Badlands. Mm -hmm. And the next question is to three of you guys. Um, so what did you see from this project that made you decide to kill this project? You go first. Um, I mean, I think, uh, you know, martial arts drama on TV, or martial arts in general in America is, you know, not been very predominant for some reason. And yeah. as a, you know, 16-year-old boy, looking at, you know, a project like this, it's so amazing, and it sort of makes you wonder why this wasn't done before. Um, but filming it and realizing how hard it is to actually put together these fight scenes, uh, I understand more now why, why people sometimes avoid it, but, uh, you know, we have such a good team behind this project that, that I mean, you know, everyone's a, a pro at this now, so. But basically, it's just cool, right? Basically, it's just way, cool. Way, yeah. <laughs> Long story short, it's cool. Um, for us, we were, you know, we were approached uh, by one of our producing partners, Stacey Scher, with the challenge of trying to put martial arts on American television. And at the time, again, I wasn't uh, meant to play the role of Sonny at that time. Uh, we were, Stephen and I partnered up and brought the martial arts element to the show. We created the stunt team, we brought the choreographer over, and we're managing that side of the show. And that was the big challenge for us, is that we also wanted to see that happen too. And we also want to work with AMC, one of the best um, TV stations out there doing really the best work on television. So to um, partner up with them was a great opportunity to do a really good show that no one's ever seen before. Yeah, once we know, we found out we were gonna work with AMC, we knew we were better bring something really good on the table, because that's what they do, so. So we brought our A game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you, why, why do you think it took so long for um, American television to bring back martial arts? And do you feel like this is going to be an ongoing trend or maybe just a one-time thing? I think it's a, it, it has been a very difficult uh, task. And that's probably the reason why it's, it took so long for uh, a TV channel and the company to realize the importance of martial arts and also to be um, they, they were, they were, I say, they, they put in enough budget for us to be able to accomplish this mission because shooting martial arts is very, very costly. Basically, we have like two units working consecutively. So you're basically yeah. two crews going at the same time, and it's a very you know costly process. So I think. That's part of the reason why it hasn't been done. It's very, it's very difficult to choreograph and shoot fight scenes, mm -hmm. and to do it on a TV schedule, uh, which is like about eight days per episode, is very, very challenging. I mean, you know, in film, for example, the Grandmaster one fight scene took thirty days to film. We had four or five days to do that, um, and trying to create the same level of fighting, and so it's a very, very daunting and challenging task. And I know why people don't do it because it's very hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. So through the process of shooting this drama. Um, this question is for Stephen. Um, do you feel like, as a planning director for this project, did you make did you make any compromises? Because America, maybe the, the situation here is not as the same as what had passed in Hong Kong. Mm, no, I don't think so. That is why it's so difficult because we didn't want to compromise. Yeah, we didn't want to compromise, and the first thing we did was we brought over stunt guys from Hong Kong, and China, and then we also recruited from LA because we needed the best and you know if we would have compromised we would have you know found you know lesser you know, stunt guys to do the work but no we got to find the best at what they do so that's why it's been a long process a very expensive one too. <laughs>